first grade stinks by Mary Ann Rodman illustrated by Beth Spiegel first day first grade I sing can't wait can't wait we're big kids now Haley says my friend Ryan as we get off the bus little kids stand at the school door holding their parents hands not Ryan and me. We walk into school all by ourselves. Hi, Miss Lacey, we call to our teacher from last year. Hello, Haley and Ryan. Miss Lacey's shirt is the color of daffodils. Her sneakers match. Inside her room, the dragon kite still hangs from the ceiling. Cutouts of leaves cover the wall. Kindergartners push through the door. Kindergartners don't know how to act, I say. Poor little kindergartners, Ryan says. We first graders know how to act. We find our new room. Our teacher's shirt is the color of dead leaves. She wears ugly brown sandals. Good morning, she says. My name is Miss Gray. Find the desk with your name on it. She gives us a tiny smile. Not a sunny morning smile like Miss Lacey's. This room does not look like Miss Lacey's. Nothing hangs from the ceiling. Nothing on the walls. Just the alphabet letters over the chalkboard. No kite, no colors, no fun. Miss Gray calls the roll. We stand by our chairs and say who we are and what we like best. Then Miss Gray says, time to write our A's and B's. Sasha raises her hand. We had share time first in kindergarten. Miss Gray shakes her head. We are too busy for share time right now. Ryan, please hand out the writing paper. No fair. Miss Lacey always let me hand out the paper. No share time? No dragon kite? No smiley teacher in a daffodil shirt? First grade stinks. Writing is very hard work. I am ready for recess. But when the kindergarten kids march by our door on their way to first recess, Miss Gray says, time for art. She passes around the crayons and paper. I raise my hand. Isn't it time for recess? In first grade, we only have one recess says Miss Gray. I like art, but I'd rather have recess. Miss Gray looks at our pictures. Haley, what an interesting sky, she says, but not like she means it. I like orange skies. So did Miss Lacey. Miss Gray hangs Kirk's picture in front of the chalkboard. His sky is blue. I want to throw my crayons at Kirk. First grade stinks, I tell Ryan at recess. He blinks. I like first grade. I want to pinch Ryan. After recess, we write some more. Haley, your A's and B's are not the same size, says Miss Gray. Write them again, please. I look at Ryan's letters. They are exactly like the ones over the chalkboard. Eyes on your own work, Haley, warns Miss Gray. First grade stinks. We go to lunch. There is only vanilla ice cream, no chocolate. The kindergarten kids ate all the chocolate, says the lunchroom lady. I hate vanilla. Even lunch stinks. Back in our room, Miss Gray says, it's story time. Erica raises her hand. What about nap time? In kindergarten, we had naps after lunch. Oh no, I hate nap time. First graders don't take naps, said Miss Gray. No nap time? Maybe first grade doesn't always stink. Miss Gray reads a story about a boy and his dog. They are lost and it's dark and then Miss Gray closes the book. That's all for today. Time for math. What happens to the boy and his dog? No fair! Last year, Miss Lacey read us whole books with lots of pictures all in one day. Binky Bug was my favorite. 
In first grade, even the stories stink. Can we go back to Miss Lacey? I whispered to Ryan. Haley, no whispering, says Miss Gray. I can't stand it one more minute. First grade stinks! The room is very, very quiet. Miss Gray comes to my desk. She looks very, very tall. You're in trouble now, says Ryan. I wish Ryan would dry up and blow away. Miss Gray kneels beside me. What's wrong, Haley? Writing is hard, and there's only one recess, and the stories don't end right, I say. First grade stinks. Miss Gray smiles. It's a nice smile. That's not the end of the story, she says. Just the end of the chapter. What's a chapter? I ask. It's a part of a story. I'll read a chapter tomorrow and a chapter the next day. It might take a week to finish the story. Miss Lacey read Binky Bug all in one day, I tell her. Miss Grace smiles again. In first grade, we read books with chapters. Soon, you'll be able to read them yourself. Really? I say. All by myself? Happiness whooshes inside of me. Miss Gray nods. That's why we work so hard. It's a lot to remember, isn't it? I smile real big. My heart glows like an empty orange sky. Miss Gray doesn't look like Miss Lacey or act like Miss Lacey, but she knows how I feel, just like Miss Lacey. I can teach her to like orange skies. Poor kindergartners. They can't read. They take naps. Their books don't have chapters. Kindergarten stinks. First grade is great. The end. Hey friends, this is Ms. Dorisman speaking. I hope you enjoyed our story today. Be sure to subscribe to read more amazing books with me. So, until next time, keep reading, keep learning, and keep growing.